hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Ramba Sinkala Barahiba Santari Basia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, the honor, and adoration. We give glory to God Almighty. Thank you all. As you join, as you join, please share, share, share. As you join, be share, share, share. Please share, share, share as you join. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We give God all the glory. We give God all the honor. We give God all the adoration. Our God is good and His mercies endure it forever. We praise the name of the Lord. We bless His holy name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome you all to this broadcast. Jesus Christ is my message, prophetic ministries. Hallelujah. You are welcome as you join me. You are welcome as you join me. You are welcome as you join me. I just want to take one or two minutes to share. Amen. I just want to take a minute to share. Hallelujah. Please, you are welcome. Thank you for joining me. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be great today. It's going to be awesome today on this platform in the name of Jesus. Please share, share, invite your friends to join us. We are going to be sharing words from the throne of grace and mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining me. I thank you all. I appreciate you. Please share, share, share as you join me. Please share the broadcast as you join me. As you do so, you will, you may, you entirely, highly be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Please share, share as you join me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Rainbow Huri Basin Kala Basan Basia. We praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that has made us to witness today. We bless his holy name. He is faithful. He is awesome. He is beautiful for all situations. There is none like him in all the earth. God is faithful. God is awesome. God is wonderful. His, his mercies endure it forever. We bless his name. He is worthy of our praises. He is worthy of our praises. Thank you all for joining me. You are all welcome on this platform. Jesus Christ is my message, prophetic ministries. Jesus Christ is my message, prophetic ministries. Please share as you join this broadcast. Please share as you join this broadcast. And um, the Lord God Almighty will continue to shower you with abundance of blessings in the name of Jesus. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. I appreciate you. I welcome you all here. I welcome you all to, here to this platform. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rainbow Huri Basin Kalaba. Rambaba Rahiba Santari Lobobo. Hen Kalaba Bahuri Basia. Ramba Rahiba Santari Lobobo Sia. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you all for joining me. The Lord bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. As you all know, my name is Evangelist Esther Olayin Kadia. I welcome you all to my platform. Jesus Christ is my message, prophetic ministries. We shall be talking on the word of God that God has um, um, imbibed in my heart to share with you today. And the message is talking about what are your plans for this year 2023? What are you planning to embark upon for this year, 2023? You want to start on a good slate. You want to start off with God on a good slate. You don't want to move like a snail. You don't want to crawl. You want to soar in this year, 2023. The title of this message is write down the vision and come boldly before the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Write out the vision 
That means write down your vision for the year 2023. The word of God says in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. I'm going to read very quickly from verses 2 to 4. It says, write the vision and make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain upon the tablets. Write the vision. What does what is God saying when he said write the vision? Write down your plans. Write down your vision. Write down your mission. Write down your dreams. Write down what you want to do for this year, 2023. What are your plans? What are things that you have laid on the table for yourself to embark upon this year, 2023? You want to, you don't want to crawl. You don't want to procrastinate. You want to make it very plain. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 to 4. He said, write the vision and make it plain upon the tablets. So God is not only telling you to imagine it. You know, before things come to pass, you have to have the power of imagination. You have to imagine your sources. You have to imagine what you need, what you are praying for, what you are planning for, what your desires are. You have to imagine it. I've spoken about that before, about the power of our imagination. Because it is what you imagine and pray for that comes forth to the physical. It comes from the spiritual realm into the physical. God is saying to you that you should not only imagine it, you should not only give back to it in your mind, in your imagination. God is telling you that that thing that you have in mind, that plan that you have in mind, that thing that you want to embark upon in this year, 2023, God is saying to you that you should write it on a slate. God is saying to you that you should make it plain. He says, write the vision and make it plain upon tablets that he may run that read it. That he may run that read it. That he may run that read it. So when you have written it down and you have made it plain, you will be able to run according to what you have written down. Because it is now in black and white before thee. You already have a map plan of what you want to embark upon. You already have a map of how you want to embark on the road in this year 2023 on your road to success. You already have it here mapped. Your junction, your stops, your turns. You already have it planned as your map for 2023. What you are going to start doing, what you are going to embark upon. You don't want to slave around. You don't want to procrastinate. So you want to make it plain on a black and white sheet. You want to write it down. God is saying to you, write it down. Write the vision and make it plain upon the tablets. That in the run that read it. So when you have written it down, you'll be able to run according to what you have written down. You'll be able to move according to what you have written down. Because it is now in front of you, motivating you. You have written it down on a black, on a plain white sheet. It is staring at you. You are opening it. And you are looking at your plans for year 2023. You are knowing in your hands. You are looking at it. You are in in interpreting it. In your mind that this is what you want to do for 2023. It is coming to you alive. It's jumping to you alive. That this is the plans for my 2023. So he's saying to you. Write the vision and make it plain upon tablets. That he may run that read it. So you have to not only think it. You have to be able to read it. It is when you think it and you read it. Then you'll be able to walk towards bringing it to pass. Towards manifestation. Because you need to walk with, for it. You are going to move and walk towards achieving your aim. Your goal. Your plan for 2023. That you may run that read it. Because as you read it, it is becoming more real to you. You need to be able to read what you are planning to do for year 2023. For it to become more real to you. He said that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. I want to tell you that the vision for what you need to do. The vision for your plans for your life for 2023. It is for an appointed time. And I want to, I want to congratulate you brethren, brothers and sisters. That this is your appointed time. This is your time for the vision to begin to come to pass. In your life in the name of Jesus. I don't care what you have chased after in the year 2022 i don't care what you have chased after in the year 2021 that never came to materialization that never came to pass 
I'm not looking at the past. I'm looking forward. The Bible says that we should press forward towards achieving our aim. Yes. The Bible is saying to you today that as you, as you have imbibed the vision in your head, as you have imagined it, that you put it down on black and white. You should write it down in plain vision so that you can read it. There is something about reading. There's something about what you see. When you are able to see it on black and white, it kind of sticks to your head that this is what you want to do. And immediately you'll be able to begin to make plans towards achieving that aim. Write the vision and make it plain upon tablets that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Year 2023 is your appointed time for your vision to materialize. Year 2023 is the appointed time for you to run that race to win it. Year 2023 is for you to chase your enemies, overtake them and recover what they have stolen from your camp. Year 2023 is going to be a phenomenal year for you. I said it in my last broadcast that year 2023 is a year full of grace for a new beginning. It is a year of new dispensation. It is a year of new grace for you to embark on what you need to do. So you need to write a vision down. You need to make it plain. And as you read it, you'll be able to run with it. And it's also saying that for the vision is yet for an appointed time, which is right now. Now, in this year, this moment, this season is your appointed time. The vision that you have in your head is now. It's for an appointed time now. Hallelujah. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Because when you are able to run with that vision, when you are able to move with that vision, with that dream, with that plan, with that with, with that seed that you want to plant to germinate for year 2023, it will speak for you and not lie. It will speak because it will yield. It's a seed. That vision you have in your mind, in your head, is a seed. And as you write it and begin to move towards it, you are planting the seed. And when it grows and fertilizes and germinates, it shall speak and not lie. That is the meaning of the word here. That, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarries. Some people may say, because they have written the vision down, they have chased a particular thing last year. They didn't get it. They, may, they, they, they lost faith and lost hope that they may not get it this year. No, by my brother, my sister, it does not mean that you will not get it this year. Maybe you were doing something that was not right before. Maybe you were embarking on it the way you were not supposed to embark on that vision before. But I say to you that this year is your season for it to manifest. Yes, it might have tarried. It might have been delayed over years. It might have been delayed over months. But this is the time for it to come forth. It is the time for you to give birth to that vision. It is time for that seed to germinate and bring forth much fruits. In the name of Jesus. He said, though it tarry, wait for it. But it will surely come, it will not tarry. God is saying to you that it will surely come, it will not tarry. It's assure, God is assuring you that that vision that you have, that desire of your heart that you need, that you'll be crying to him for. That thing that you have been looking unto him for. This is the time. It will not tarry anymore. He will no longer delay that your need. He will no longer delay that your vision. He will no longer delay what you are sparing for. It is time for him to move. It's time for him to show up and show up for you as your God. And your enemies shall bow. They shall know that you serve the living God. This is the time for your vision to come to life. It is the time for that plan for 2023. As you begin to imbibe it and you begin to write the vision down, it is time that you begin to manifest and come forth with life in the name of Jesus. That is the book. I just read the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 to 4. Now, it's saying that you should come boldly to the throne of grace. As you have written down your vision, as you have imbibed it and written it down, what you want to do in this year 2023, he's saying to you, come forth to that throne 
of grace. Come to him with that your vision. Come to him with that your need, that your request. Come to him with that thing that you are looking up to him for. What is it that you are looking up to him for? This is the time to write it down. This is the time to sow your seed. This is the time for that step of faith. Because it is with this that you are going to God for. Boldly to ask of him. For his input. Yes. Because the Bible says that with God all things are possible. This is the time that is going to show up for you. And it's going to show out for you. It's going to show you that you are his child. The, this is the time to make the plans. What are your plans for year 2023? Is it that you want to go to school and educate yourself? Is it that you want to improve on yourself? Is it that you want to go for your master's, your bachelor's? You want to go for your doctorate degree? Is it that you want to, you know, get married? Is it that you want to have children? I tell you, the Bible says that there shall not be none barren amongst you all. According to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14. God is saying to you that whatever you desire, this is the time to plan it. None shall be buried. And it's not only in child alone. You, are, you shall not be buried in health. You shall not be buried in wealth. You shall not be buried in breakthroughs. You shall not be buried in, in good, good things and benefits of life. God is saying to you that this is the time to write it down. What is it that you want to do? Do you want to open a business? Are you looking for financial breakthrough? Do you want to seek, are you seeking promotion at your place of work? And you have been praying to God, God promote me, God promote me. I want to tell you that this is the year that God is going to do it. He said to you in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4. He said the vision shall not tarry anymore. The vision shall not be delayed anymore from now. This is a time that is going to come to pass. This is a time that is going to fulfill it in your life. This is a time that he is, he is going to celebrate himself in your life. He said, do not be weary, do not be tired, do not be discouraged, do not be downbroken, do not be heart falling. Do not let anything break your heart because he is right here by your side. According to the book of Isaiah 41, verse 10 is right here by your side. He's going to make every of your desires to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Are you, are you trying to serve your community? Are you trying to do some charity work? There are people you want to start giving things to? The homeless, the orphanage, the widows? Do you, do you have anything that you are planning to start doing to give back to the society? Whatever it is that you are planning in this year 2023, this is the time to sow the seed. Your seed this is the time to sow it. As you sow your seed, it will germinate. This is the time to take a step of faith. Because God is going to do it for you. He said, come boldly to him and ask him of all these things. The book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is your time of need. You are telling God, this is my time of need. You are telling God to help you. You are telling God to meet you. At this point of your life. You are telling God to walk with you in this year 2023. You are telling God that you do not want this year to be like any other year before. You are telling God that you want this year 2023 to be the be your best year ever. This is the time to write the vision down. This is the time to sow the seed. Is What is it that you are craving for? Are you craving to get out of that bondage? Are you, are you craving to get out of being used and molested? Are you craving to have something of your own? Are you craving to buy a new car, get a new house? Are you craving to have children? Are you craving to, to increase and expand? What is it that you're looking up to God for? Is it the fruit of the womb that you desire? Like I said to you in the book of Deuteronomy 7, he said, None, verse 14, none shall be barren in the land. God is touching every womb now. God is touching every health. He is healing you all, healing the womb. From this moment on, as you begin to ask God for children, God will begin to meet you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus. And as you come to God boldly to ask Him of these things, you need to come to Him with faith. You need to come to God with faith. Hallelujah. Come to God with faith and do not so sparingly. You need to come to God 
and ask God in faith. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Your, 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 your vision that you have written down are the substance of things hoped for are what you have hoped for for year 2023 are the desires of your heart for year 2023 are what you are asking god in this year 2023 faith is the substance of things hoped for when you are asking god for these things as you are writing the vision down and as you come to god boldly you have to come in faith believing that he will do that which he said he will do. Because you have to come to him in faith and believe in that God that you have come for to. You must believe that he will meet you, that he will do it. You must believe that he can hear you. The Bible says that when you seek the Lord, he will answer you. You must believe that this God you are calling upon, you will, you will receive from him. Before, because nobody goes comes before the presence of God and lives empty-handed. It is impossible. You must believe in your heart that he is there. If a father and an earthly father knows how to give good gifts to their children, how much more our heavenly father, our God, our sovereign God, that can do all things. Yes, he is more than able to meet you at the point of your needs. He said he will cause men to give unto you good measure, praise down and shake it together, running over. That is what he's capable of doing. He's capable of embarrassing you with his gladness, his blessings. That you yourself shall know that this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in your sight. Hallelujah. So you must come to God with faith. And you must, you must so uh, uh, bountifully. Do not so sparingly. You, because you serve a big God. You serve a big God. Do not belittle your God. Have faith like a mustard seed. And move to God with that bold step. And believe in that your dream that you have written down on the platter. That you have read often and over and over again. And you must know that he is able to do it. You must know that he is more than able to do it. Do not belittle your God. Let that dream be big. Do not sow sparingly. You must sow generously. According to the book, according to the book of, um, um, according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6, he said, remember this, whoever sows sparingly, reaps sparingly. But whosoever sows and, uh, 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 generously, reaps will read generously. So you don't want to sow sparingly. You want to sow generously. You want to have a big dream. You want to come to God boldly with a big dream. Dream like your God. Dream like your God. Have that, that desire like your God. Do not have little, little, small, small desires. You don't want to have desire that you just want to get yourself a new dress. You just want to get yourself a new bag. No. You want to be the maker of dressing. You want to be a producer. You want to be a maker of bags. You want to be a producer. You want to be, have big dreams. Have big visions and write it down. And run with it. And come to the throne of grace and mercy with it. And God will empower you. The God will answer you and he will empower you. You have to come with faith. That faith in God is important. Faith is the one that will bring to pass that from the spiritual to the physical. It says that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You have not seen it yet, you have not touched it yet, but that faith will bring it to pass. It will bring it to evidence. It is that faith that connects with that thing, with that dream, that vision, and it will pull it out of the spiritual. I will bring it to manifestation. So you have to walk with faith this year, 2023, to bring your dreams, your hopes, your vision to pass in the year 2023. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as you come, come with expectations. Yes. Come with expectations for year 2023. Do not come with, okay, maybe it will work, maybe it will not work. Do not come with the heart of uh, 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 decisive heart. You have not made your decision yet. You are not 
certain yet. You have to come with certainty and with boldness. You have to be sure that God is more than able to hear you and do exactly what he said he will do in your life. You have to believe in the word of God. That says, yea and amen, it shall come to pass in your life. Because his word will not go out in vain and not accomplish that which he has set out to do in your life. You have to come to, with God with expectations. The Bible says in the book, in, in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24. It says the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. The expectations of the righteous, those that are looking out to God as the author and the finisher of your faith, you are the righteous. It shall not be cut off. Yes, God has promised that your expectations shall not be cut off because the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Your des- I don't care how long you have been desiring it. I don't care how long that you have been in the expectations of this, but it will not be cut off. It will be granted. It will come to pass. It will manifest. Yes, as the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 says, it said, don't it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Wait for it. It will not be cut off. Yes, it will not be cut off. The expectations of the righteous shall be fulfilled. God shall meet the righteous at the right time. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 7, 7, that you should seek and you will find you should knock and the door shall be opened unto you. You should, you, you should ask and you shall be given. As long as you believe. You must believe in this God that you have come to. In this year 2023. You must believe that he's more than able to answer your prayers. You must believe that this God is more than able to do it. Even more than your expectations. You must believe that this God is more than able to meet you at the point of your needs. You must believe in this God. That is a God that has away by fire. Hallelujah. Believe in this God. God is more than able to do it. Even more than your expectations. Even more than you have asked for. He's able to do it. He's able to meet you at the point of your needs. You must believe. Hallelujah. Do you know that when you come to God, God is always ready for you to give you. The Bible says in the book, of Jeremiah 29 11 he said that I know the thoughts I have towards you I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end God is having some thoughts towards you already when he created you he created you for a purpose he created you to fulfill a destiny. You have a mandate when you came into the world for. And as he sent, it, sent you out to this world, his thought towards you is to meet you at the point of needs. To equip you with all you need to be successful. To fulfill your destiny. With your desires. To make you comfortable. To make you happy. To make you joyful. Don't worry about the, what the enemy is doing. Yes, I will know that the book of John 10, 10 says that the devil has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But if God be for you, nobody can be against you. Because the same John 10, 10, the other part says, But Christ has come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. When you have life and abundantly, that means you, have, you are blessed. That means you are in splendor. And blessings include your health, your wealth, your finances, your marriage, your children, your everything. That is what Christ has come for you. So when you come to God, know that he already has deep feelings for you. He already has blessings in stock for you. He has packages, he has packaged, wrapped up like presents to give to you. All you need to do is reach out your hand and receive it from him. He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end, to give you what you ask for, to give you what you need, to give you the desires of your heart, to manifest himself in your life, to celebrate himself in your life. And as he celebrates himself, he will celebrate you. Even your enemies will bow like the enemies of Mordecai and they will know. That you serve a living God. That is the God that you serve. 
That is the mighty God that you relate to. That is the one that we call Abba Father. That is the same God that you are in joint here with Christ. God has transferred you, transformed you to his kingdom of his of light, to his kingdom of his uh, 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 being a joint here with Jesus. You are now a joint here with Christ in his kingdom. In that same God, if he can do that for you, if he can give his one and only begotten son for your sake, how much more can he with can he not give you? He can never withhold anything for if he, if God did not withheld Jesus from you and I, he can never withheld anything from you. He gave his all, he gave his Jesus. So he said that he's taught to us you is the top of good and not of evil. Yes, to give to you an expected end, to give you what you want, to give you what you desire. To give you what you're asking for. To give you what you're craving for. for to, to take away your shame. To take away your, 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 your reproach. To shut your enemy's mouth. To shut the, your, the, those that are scorning to shut their mouth. That is his desire for you. He has come to bless you. Hallelujah. He has come to increase you. He has come to manifest his power in your life. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Hallelujah. So God is seeking to bless you and he's seeking to meet your needs at every time and every day. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you something. Do you know how God describes you? Do you know how beautiful, how wonderful you are to God? Do you know how precious you are to God? Let me tell you how God describes you. I just told you his heart, God's heart towards you. In the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11. But now let me tell you how God describes you yourself. God said in the book of Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. He said, but you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. You are a chosen generation. God chose you. He fished you out. He loved you first. He revealed himself to you. He showed forth for you. He chose you. He said, you, 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 I'm talking to you. I am talking to you, listening to me. You hearing this, I'm talking to you. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. Ah, you are a royal priesthood. You are from the royal diadem. You are from the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah we serve god almighty the king of kings and the lord of lords you are a joint heir in the kingdom of god therefore you are a royal priesthood by automatic spiritual birth you are a royal person you are royalty you are royalty you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation as you are, you are a nation. You are a mighty nation. You are not just you, you are a nation. Everyone is a nation. Because God has given us the spirit of multiplication. We can multiply ourselves. When we get married, we give birth and multiply and multiply. So our generation continues to multiply. So you are a nation. As you give birth and our children give birth and our children, we are becoming a generation. Look at the Israelites when they migrated, when Joseph came to, to Egypt and he was there and his brothers came, they began to give birth and began to inhabit Goshen in Egypt and they became a mighty nation. So God is saying to you that you are a, a holy nation, a mighty nation, a peculiar people. That means you are not just a, someone, you are a peculiar someone. You are not just anybody. You are a major important somebody somebody to be someone that has to be contended with someone that has to be answered to someone that has to be to be given answers someone that deserves respect someone that is important you are not just anybody so god is saying to you you are a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness he called you to show forth the praises of him. 
And how does he show for the praise of him? By showcasing you to the world. How does he showcase you to the world? By celebrating himself in your life. By meeting you at the point of your knees. By giving you abundance. By loving you with greatness. With blessings. With mercies. With love. With care. With expansion. By blessing you with children. With jobs. With, with increase. By promoting you at work. By giving you financial breakthrough. That's how he celebrates himself in your life. Yes. And that is why he said that he will show forth the praises of him who had called you out. You must show forth the praises of him who had called you out. God is so is a jealous God. So he wants to show forth, he has to show, he wants people to know him through your life. He wants your enemies to know that you serve a living God. He wants people to know that he is your God. So, and he's not a small God. He is not a little God. He is a mighty God. So he's going to show forth his praises in your life by meeting you at the point of your needs, by embarrassing you with blessings, by bombarding you with blessings and benefits, by, you know, making the whole world celebrate you. You will become an object of celebration in the world. That is how we show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. That is the God that you serve. That is the God that you serve. So I want you to know that you are special. And because you are special, is ready to meet you at the point of your needs. So this is the time to do, you, is, to, 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 to do your will. This is the time. Your season is ripe. The vision will no longer tarry. The vision is now. It's coming to pass now. So believe in yourself and believe in this God that has served you. The Bible says in the book of Romans 8.37 that you are more than a conqueror. Know that you can conquer all things. You can achieve all things. There's nothing you lay your hands upon that you cannot achieve. Hallelujah. Believe in this God that has come for you, that has sent you, that is with you. Believe in this God that you call your God and he will show forth and show out in your life. He will celebrate you to the world. You have to believe in him. The book of Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can do it. You can achieve your dream. You can achieve your goal. You can achieve your vision. This is a time that the Lord is saying to you that he can do it. The book of Luke chapter 1, 37 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. He's ready to do it for you today. So I want you to be filled with courage. Believe in God and in yourself. Come to God with boldness, in faith. Write down the vision. Let it be plain. Read it and walk towards it. This year, 2023, you must walk with purpose. You must walk with vision. You must walk purposefully. You must walk with vision. You are not zigzagging anywhere. You are not turning out a skelter. You have a purpose. You have a goal. You have a map that you have set out of how to navigate in this year, 2023. And as I told you about prayers, with prayers backing you up, with your faith and your belief in God, and your belief in yourself that you can do it. Because you must believe that you, are, you can do it. You must believe that you are more than a conqueror. That you are an achiever. That whatever you lay your hands upon will prosper. You must believe in that God that has empowered you. That God is empowering you today to swear in this year 2023. You must believe that he's here for you. That is ready to lift you higher. That is ready to take you to your expectations. He said that the thought he has for you is a thought of good and not of evil. Evil to take you to your expected end. That thing that you need is that expected end. That desire, that vision. What you're asking God for is your expected end. He's ready to take you there now, 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 now is the time. He will not tarry. He will not fail you. He did not fail Daniel. He did not fail Esther. He did not fail Mordecai. He did not fail Joseph. He did not fail Moses. He did not fail Joshua. He did not fail Israel. He will never fail you. He is more than a conqueror. With, he said, with him all things shall be possible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. So, be, brethren, I want you to move. I want you to move in the power of his might. I want you to move in the power of this God that has sent you. 
The Bible says that if God be for you, nobody can be against you. I want you to move in that power of God in this new dispensation, in this year 2023, with power, with might, and you will get to your destination. You will fulfill your destiny. You will, so you will surpass your, 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 even your own desires. God will lift you high above your enemies in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you go with these ones, that they shall not Lord, only be hearers of the word, they shall be doers of the word, that they shall move forth in the power of your might, and they shall move with their vision and their mission this year, 2023, that they shall be encouraged even to write it down. They will not be discouraged by events of the past. They will not be discouraged by what happened in 21, 22, year 21 and 22. Or even years past. Because this is a new year, a new dispensation with a new grace. As you have given us in this ministry. Jesus Christ is a, my message prophetic ministry. You said that it is our year of new dispensation. Our year of new grace and new things. That we should write the vision down. I pray that as this was write their vision down, that we move in that new dispensation with the new grace, with wings upon their wings. And the angels will gather them and take them higher, that you will create that space for them in, above where they will be seated in the name of Jesus. In this year, 2023, they will not fail, they will not fall. Ah, they will not fail, they will not fall. Every hindrance on their way, I demolish it now by the power in the name of Jesus. I declare that they are untouchable and they are unstoppable. They will soar, they will not be weary, they will not be tired. In the name of Jesus. Everyone with a dream, yeah, they will meet, their dreams will be fulfilled this year, 2023, in the name of Jesus. Anyone looking up to you for the fruit of the womb for this year, 2023, I speak to that womb to come alive now. In the name of Jesus, whoop, come alive now. In the name of Jesus, whoop, come, av- come alive now. In the name of Jesus, receive the breath of God, the breath of God, which is Zoe, and receive the breath of God. And let that child begin to sit well in that womb, and let the child begin to germinate and begin to grow. In the name of Jesus, in the, in, 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 in the time of life. In nine months' time, you shall give back to your child. In the name of Jesus. That one that is looking for a breakthrough financially. Father Lord, I pray that you imbibe upon their hearts. How what to do, what step to take to begin to gather together. What they need, the tools they need to make. For them to make a leap. For them to make a jump. For them to soar into their financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Give them the wherewithal. Give them the knowledge. And connect them with helpers of destiny that will make that dream to come through in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray that you begin to imbibe in people's mind and memories and visions. What and what they need to do. What they want, they need to write down. Because right now they are writing their visions down. They are writing their visions down. They are writing it down. You said that this year the vision shall not be tarry. The vision shall be accomplished this year, 2023. And they shall accomplish it all in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray that they shall come more forth with new things. Things will come forth to light in their lives. Everything that is dead, that is supposed to be alive in them, I bring it forth to life in the name of Jesus. Like the book of Ezekiel, it says, Speak forth to the bones and it shall come alive. I speak up, I speak for to every dead bones in your life to comfort and come alive in the name of Jesus. Receive the breath of life and come alive. Let that child come alive. Let that business come forth and come alive. Let that uh, promotion come alive in this year 2023 in the name of Jesus. Let that breakthrough, let that company, let them begin to give birth. This is the year that you are going to give birth to manifestations of goodness and graces and powers of God in your individual lives in the name of Jesus that people shall ask you to take them to take them to your God 
in the name of Jesus. The Lord will celebrate many of you this year, 2023. The Lord will enrich your pockets. You will not lack. You will not beg for anything. Your table shall not run dry in the name of Jesus. That which you desire, the Lord will give unto you. The Lord will celebrate you to the world. You, this year, you will dance a new dance and sing a new song because it is a new dispensation with a new grace in the name of Jesus. Run with that vision. It's coming to pass. The vision of God, the, your, the, your, your vision receive light to manifest. Let that vision receive light to manifest. Let that vision receive light to manifest in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. If you believe, I want you to say a bigger amen in Jesus' name. Now I want to challenge you. Is it a child that you have asked for? Is it that your is that what is your vision for 2023? Go and buy children's clothes. What sex do you want? Is it male or female? I want you to move in faith because without faith it is impossible to serve God. Without faith it is impossible to receive from God. You need faith. You need to move with faith. You need to move in faith. Yes, so with faith, go and buy children's clothes and put it in your wardrobe. Call that close the clothes for your that your child will wear when it comes forth because it's coming forth in nine months' time. In the name of Jesus, what is it? Is it a business proposal? Write it down, make the vision clear, make it clear, and run with it. Write it down, let it be clear, and run with it. Believe in your vision, believe in what you have written down, believe that you can achieve it. You serve a big God. You don't serve a small God at all. In the name of Jesus. And it shall come to pass in your life. And so shall it be in Jesus name. In Jesus mighty name I have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me. I, 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 I want to thank you for making the time to listen. I want to implore you to please share share the word share it on your wall share it on your on your uh on your wall on your pages so that many more can hear this and as we hear it it will bless our lives in jesus name thank you all i'll see you again next week in jesus name i will be coming forth with the program for this ministry our weekly program will be uh clearly written out boldly so that we, we we will begin to follow through as the, as the Lord leads us, our programs. We're going to have our midweek program. We're going to have our Sunday programs as well as we'll be having Sunday programs. There will be the pre the midweek prayer meeting as well. The Lord will help us as we forge ahead in Jesus' name. I leave you all in the capable hands of God. I pray that this week sh you shall have sources, testimonies shall follow through in Jesus' name. This is your week of victory. Go out and do exploits for the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Amen. See you next week. And bye. Thank you.